y'all what is up it's your girl becky and we're back for day 21 of plan april woohoo we are basically 70 percent into the challenge because it's 21 out of 30 that's yeah that's correct today we are in a nearby dog park i actually don't know what i was gonna sketch yet um i've been here once or twice but i've never really hung around to see and suss out the location to see if there are any good spots to paint but there's always something to paint and there's always something to capture so here we are i personally wouldn't call this to be the most scenic or interesting place and if i were to sketch the dogs I don't think I am skilled enough in sketching animals just yet or more like I haven't tried and I don't think trying out with like a moving subject is a good idea so what I'm going to do is actually I'm going to pick one of these benches and try to sketch that so this one for example it has like a really interesting shadow coming across because it's just right across uh, the seat right here so maybe I'll do that this one's shadow is too top down, so I don't want to do that. Uh, this one as well. I think this will be the most interesting, so perhaps we'll give that a try. I've decided I was going to do that bench in shadow, but my concern is that by the time I start blocking in the colors, the shadow shape is going to change. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sketch in the outline of the whole thing first with a fountain pen. Like this is the game plan here, right here sketch with a fountain pen and then when I am blocking in the colors that's when I see where the shadows are and we're just gonna go with that like we're not gonna decide that right now because by the time I finish sketching maybe in about 10 minutes it's going to look really different so let's go for my supplies I have clipboard art toolkit complete with a palette inside and my fountain pen and my sketchbook i realize i cannot talk and sketch at the same time so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to talk in bits in between and then you guys will get maybe some ambient noise for the rest of the time or if the wind picks up and or it gets too noisy then i'm just going to replace it with music so that is a strategy here so one thing that i always do is i try to start with the biggest shape first just to make sure that everything I want fits in my sketchbook and also if I'm drawing lines especially for the first object or like the first measurement I try not to draw the ends first because what tends to happen is I overestimate or I underestimate how long it will be usually it's under so I wanted to give that space to be able to extend on the top and the bottom or at any edge so in this case I'm starting with the left pole of the cover and I'm just gonna continue with the top first and then I'm gonna continue with the right one. So instead of doing this and then the top, I'm going to do it in progression just so I can fit everything in and everything is proportionally quite measurable to each other. So this is the sketch done. I'm just going to walk through the sketch a little bit. So what I did was I tried to use guiding points or anchor points in my sketch a lot. So when I was placing this nubbin right here, I made sure that it was on the same level as this one. At the end of this pole, I made sure it was the same level. And for these lines, these horizontal lines, I kind of made sure they were parallel to each other. I made sure these two lines were parallel to each other. I made sure all of these, because they are slightly in perspective, I made sure these were at the same horizontal line and this one as well. So this is slightly you're viewing an object from the side. I know this is not exactly the point of view we have. This is the simplest way to capture this. Instead of working with like various vanishing points, I just thought I would work with one that's slightly skewed. 
but yeah whatever works for you this one works for me so this is what we're going with so i have actually already sprayed this down with or misted this down with water and i'm hoping that the water sort of soaks in inside and we are going to start painting in or coloring this in i think i'm going to try to fill in the background first because i want all of them to blend into each other and then we can spend the chunk of our time focusing on these so we're not going to spend too long on the background but i'm just going to capture some generic colors in the background and just try to plop them in this doesn't have to be super solid because there's always the focal point is where we need to put the most detail in and the focal point is this structure right here With this we are done with the first wash so i did add some trees in the background for a little bit really 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 rough but i didn't want to add in too much details because i didn't want our eyes to go to the back like i just kind of want like a really vague background so we're going to move on to the smaller brush now perks of using a water brush all you have to do is just squish out some water and the brush is clean you don't have to worry about it until the next time you take it out to paint my handy dandy water brush I think if I have to pick one brush this is it it's like the most practical thing ever I forgot to color this bit in darn it I don't know why, but this paint is king super pink, purple to me. I think I may have to split up this background a little bit. that's a bit better it doesn't look as pink because there are other colors in the background forgot to paint that bit in and I think we're done for this one success we finished our video and our sketch for today so i am feeling quite pleased going into this i didn't expect it to be as hard as it is i know a daily challenge can be quite taxing i honestly do feel it i'm kind of ready for this challenge to be over i tried warrior painters coast card challenge in december and i actually dropped it after 20 coast cards because i thought i got what i needed out of it anyhow i am going to enjoy my time here in the park probably just gonna chill a bit maybe just listen to a podcast or an audiobook and just take in the weather
weather. It's pretty warm today, but it's quite breezy. So I don't know how long this is gonna last. Like when, if it gets hot in summer in Hong Kong, it gets hot and it doesn't really reverse back until fall. So I'm just gonna soak in as much of the pleasant weather as I can. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Keep sketching, bye. Thank you.